Books have been around for centuries, some not even made in the same fashion that we've grown accustomed to. The first written language, cuneiform, was carved into clay tablets by Sumerians in ancient Mesopotamia. The Gutenberg Bible was one of the first mass-produced books dating back to the year 1454. We all here have read a novel or two all the way through or had children books read to us by our parents as kids. However, is reading a habit for you? And I don't mean just reading instructions to an oatmeal packet. I mean taking the time to read a full long book about something that interests you. I myself am an active reader with many book series under my belt. But starting college, I have been losing the habit of reading and I want to get back into it. Today, I'll be sharing the benefits of reading books on a daily basis and why we need to be reading from books often. First, I will state how our world today is focused on other forms of entertainment and learning rather than books. Then, I will show on why reading is important for us as human beings, and finally, the great benefits we gain from book reading. Technology and social media are key items in our lifetimes. Millions of people have access to smartphones and literally have so much knowledge at their fingertips. Though technology has risen us to great heights, it has made some to grow lazy in their minds that they depend on a small device to be their brain. The 20th century brought many technological advances, including television and movies. Of course, these new technologies let stories fly out of the pages and help us visualize the story which is amazing in itself, but the power of books was strong up until the invention of the smartphone. Now the smartphone is a fantastic device. I myself enjoy mine to its fullest, it's an extremely useful tool, but it can be distracting. A common position for everyone is to be looking down at their phones, reading a post, laughing at a meme, or watching a video. You hardly ever see a person looking down reading a book. It's a rare sight outside school grounds. As said, you can begin to see that books themselves are rarely used in, a, in certain formats now. This includes school especially. After seeing how our world is changing, how can we start to look back at books? We first start by seeing why reading in general is important. As babies, we slowly start to learn to talk by hearing common phrases from our parents. As we grow, we become very familiar with our language, but then comes the real time to learn through reading. Reading helps develop better speaking patterns, construct more complicated sentences, and so on. In our society, it is really important that you know how to read in your language to function as an adult and contribute as a working citizen. Reading also leads you to discover new things in various subjects, expanding your mind to new ideas that you may or may not pursue. Through reading, your imagination also begins to develop for you to see a character, a mountain, an abandoned shack, etc. Reading is what leads us to perform other basic human functions as well. Without reading, you have to learn something with more difficulty by doing it without written instruction or having someone help you do it. We as humans carry traditions or jobs through the means of speech in the past, but through written words, everyone can learn something. Now we see the importance of reading in its general sphere. I hinted at some benefits earlier in the previous section, but here I will go into more detail in describing seven, five benefits from book reading daily. Number one, mental stimulation. Studies show that being mentally stimulated can slow the progress of Alzheimer's and dementia. Just like any other, just like any other muscle in the body, the brain needs exercise to stay strong and healthy to preserve your mental state. Number two, stress reduction. Everyone is stressed. This includes school, your job, relationships, or many issues faced in your life. 
but through the means of a great book that can all slip away as you embark on a glorious quest across the galaxy to find a long lost artifact. Your stress will be at ease and your mind will begin to relax. Number three, vocabulary expansion. Again, the more you read, the more words you're exposed to in which you learn more on how to speak better, professionally, or creatively. This benefit is especially important in learning a new language by giving your mind context to a new word in speech and in writing. Number five, four, memory improvement. When reading a novel, you have to remember an assortment of characters, locations, history, ambitions, and subplots through the story. As you create new memories, you forge synapses or brain pathways and strengthen old ones, which help in short-term memory recall as well as stabilizing moods. Number five, improve focus and concentration. The internet has so many things that are trying to catch our attention, like emails, texts, social media posts, advertisements, videos, just in a matter of five minutes. But when you're reading a book, your focus on the story and the world around just falls away, trying to get every detail of the plot before you. Reading for 15 to 20 minutes before work or school helps promote focus onto one go, goal. Take into account that each of these facts will help you improve your mental health dramatically. The world is constantly spurring with nonsense and struggles. A good book can help so much in relieving those hardships and help you find strength in a new fresh story. I am grateful that we, that we live in an age where technology is granting new ways to gain knowledge and entertainment. Yet time to time, we all need a break from technology. And to see the world around us or to find a new world in a book, one day physical books probably won't be a thing anymore and just be digital books. But to find the escape is important for your well-being at this, as this world grows to be harder. I hope I was able to leave a question in all of you of what a book can do for you. Thank you.